This whole wave rectifier, superior to the simple diode version because there is number 700 MV diode drop. The lower lower left op amp attempts to keep its input at the same voltage as the AND input, which is at ground. When the input signal is negative, the op amp output goes positive to keep the input at ground. The 500 ohm resistor has no current flowing through it, because both ends are at ground, so it can be ignored. The second op amp and two 1K resistors act as a unity gain inverting amplifier to make the output equal to the input, only positive. When the input signal is positive, both op amps attempt to keep their input at ground. In order to do this, all four resistors on the left must have a voltage drop equal to the input signal. The 500 ohm resistor must have twice as much current flowing through it as the 1K resistor to its upper left, because it has the same voltage drop but half the resistance, so the upper right resistor must make up the difference. This requires the SIRUIT's output to be at the same level as the input signal, with the same polarity. So the output voltage is always positive but has the same magnitude as the input voltage. In PFWR, for both the half cycles output is produced and in one direction only. The diagram below shows an inverting type of precision FWR with positive output. It is also called as absolute value circuit because output signal swing is only in positive direction. So we get absolute value of input signal. In positive half cycle of applied AC input signal, output of first op amp, A1, is negative. Therefore diode D2 is forward biased and diode D1 is reverse biased. Here op amp A1 works as an inverting amplifier with gain equals R slash R, equals dash 1. Therefore output of op amp A1 is V equals minus 1, VEN equals VEN. Op amp A2 works as an inverting adder. The two inputs to the op amp A2 are voltage V, output of A1, and input voltage VEN. Thus output of op amp A2 I dot E. Output voltage is given as VO equals dash R slash R VEN plus R slash R2, V. VO equals dash VEN plus 2 V. Substituting V equals V underscore in. VO equals VEN. In negative half cycle of applied AC input signal, output of first op amp, A1, is positive. Therefore diode D2 is reversed biased and diode D1 is forward biased. Due to virtual ground concept output of op amp A1 is 0. V equals 0. Thus output of op amp A2, i.e. output voltage is given as VO equals dash R slash R VEN plus R slash R2, V. VO equals dash R slash R VEN plus R slash R2, 0. But in negative half cycle input magnitude is negative therefore we get VO equals dash R slash R, VEN. VO equals VEN. Thus in both the half cycles output is positive and in one direction and also have same magnitude. Thus it is also called as non-saturating type of PFWR because op amp A1 is not going in saturation. The transfer characteristics and input-output waveforms of PFWR are shown below.